Here are Seaton Analytical UCMR4 sampling instructions. Do you have questions about how to sample or want to ensure you don't make any sampling mistakes with your UCMR4 compliance monitoring? Do you have all the bottles necessary and understand how to effectively pack them into the cooler in order to ensure they safely arrive at the laboratory for testing? Eurofins Eaton Analytical is here to ensure your UCMR4 monitoring runs smoothly and you get the most accurate results in a timely fashion. Throughout this video, we provide you detailed information on sampling, key points that you need to be aware of to ensure your monitoring is completed correctly, as well as an overview of the bottles that will be used and how to effectively pack your coolers to ensure bottles remain intact through the shipping process. We suggest you review all the sampling instructions prior to sampling. It is recommended to wear powderless nitrile gloves during sampling and sample handling. Sampling Steps if your sampling point has a faucet with an aerator, the aerator must be removed prior to collection. Flush the cold water sampling line for three to five minutes or until the water reaches a constant temperature prior to sampling. Open the bottle to be used for collection. Do not touch the inside of the cap or around the edge of the bottle as this could lead to contamination of your samples. Slow the water stream prior to collection in order to minimize water splashing out of the bottle when beginning collection. Fill the sample bottle to the neck. Take care not to flush out the preservatives and make sure the mouth of the bottle does not come into contact with anything other than the sample water. On the provided chain of custody and bottle labels, indicate the sampling date, time, and site. Please note that information on the chain of custody and bottle labels must match and be complete. Packing and shipping your samples. Packing the cooler and the placement of ice in bottles is imperative to the bottles staying at the correct temperature and remain intact upon arrival to the lab. Place a small layer of wet ice or synthetic blue ice inside the liner bag in the cooler. Place the filled sample bottles in the original bubble bag or resealable plastic bag into the cooler. Put wet ice around the samples and on top of the samples to fill the cooler almost to the top. Gather the liner bag, twist tight and tuck to the side. Place a layer of bubble wrap across the top to keep the samples and ice in place. Place the chain of custody into the supplied resealable plastic bag, seal and place on top of the bubble wrap. Close the cooler and seal with tape. Your chain of custody should be filled out completely. We've highlighted the most important sections of the chain of custody here to include the PWS ID, sampling point ID, facility ID, sampling point code, and sampling event. This information is imperative in order to upload the final data to the EPA database. Samples should be shipped to the lab on the same day they are collected, if possible. If samples are kept overnight before shipping or are going to be received at the lab within 48 hours after collection, they must be on ice or refrigerated to less than or equal to 10 degrees Celsius. In cases where your samples are received more than 48 hours after collection, they must be less than or equal to 6 degrees Celsius. It is also crucial that temperature records are kept of sampling storage temperature before shipment and recorded on the chain of custody for those samples delivered more than 48 hours after collection. When your samples return to Europe and Seton Analytical, we immediately ensure that the temperature of your samples is correct. If your samples are not received cold, you may be required to recollect, resulting in additional shipping costs. Delivering on a Saturday? Eurofins Eaton Analytical must be notified prior to shipment of samples that are being delivered on a Saturday to ensure staff is available and prepared. To ensure proper delivery, the shipping forms attached to your coolers should be specially marked for Saturday delivery. Here is an outline of the bottles you can anticipate receiving in order to fulfill your sampling requirements. Please note that you are to fill all of the sampling containers included in the kit. UCMR4 includes assessment monitoring for a total of 30 chemical contaminants. These are split into three groups. Assessment monitoring group 1 includes 17 chemical contaminants, including 2 metals, 8 pesticides plus 1 pesticide manufacturing byproduct, 3 alcohols, and 3 semi-violed or organic chemicals. The bottles for this group are 1 250 milliliter bottle, 6 1 liter bottles, and 3 125 milliliter bottles. Assessment monitoring group 2 includes 3 HAA disinfection byproduct groups and 2 associated indicators. The bottles for this group are 1 125 milliliter bottle, and, depending on which Eurofins Eaton Analytical Laboratory you are working with, one additional 125 milliliter bottle or three 40 milliliter bottles. Assessment monitoring group 3 includes nine cyanotoxins and one cyanotoxin group. The bottles for this group are two 125 milliliter bottles and three 550 milliliter bottles. 
Here is what your sample kits will look like when you receive them. Now that you have all the tools you need to complete your UCMR4 compliance monitoring, your FinSeaton Analytical looks forward to analyzing your samples to ensure you get the most accurate results in a timely manner. Still have questions? The staff at your FinSeaton Analytical is available to answer your questions. We welcome you to reach out to us at us 20 sales at eurofinsus.com. You can also get additional information on UCMR4 and your FinSeaton Analytical's testing capabilities on our website at www.eurofinsus.com slash UCMR4.